back in my 20s, um, I decided I was going to do something about it. Like, I was going to take medic medication and I was going to see a therapist. And uh, they had me take this test, and it was like this big personality thing. Um, for a second, I thought I was signing up for eHarmony, but uh, that wasn't it. And uh, I, I got done taking the test, and I, and I just had a brief thought, like, what if I answered everything wrong to the point where, like, the CIA will send a black man to my house in the middle of the night and just snatch me from the general populace? <laughs> then I started to hope for that. <laughs> then when I woke up the next morning, I was like, dang it. Anyway, like, like the test came back, and uh, I got my diagnosis. I'm, uh, I'm a schizoid, and I don't. And everybody now thinks, oh, he has multiple personality disorder. No, what that means is I kind of level out my emotional uh, output, almost to where it's like I don't feel emotion at all. Um, some people actually know by like its common name, being a guy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, they, they wanted me to take medication, and I took it for, for like a month, and I realized that nothing had happened. And so I went to uh, the doctor I was seeing at the time, I'm like, what's wrong? Like, I've been taking meds, I should, I should be feeling better. Like, that's what medication does, right? It's like, no, you have to let it build up in your system. I'm like, great, you gave me really weak medication. <laughs> the thing is, like, I had to take it for a month. I mean, if you do anything every day for a month, that becomes a habit. But if that habit involves drugs, you're now an addict. But these drugs didn't do anything. They made me an addict of placebos. <laughs> I was addicted to nothing really. It was it was barely telling at that point in my life. <sighs> this is great. People are really enjoying my pain. Which is good, because you're laughing. And, and I like it that I can get you people to laugh. Um, I did see a therapist for a while, and uh, therapy that there's really not like this is how I'm going to describe it. I would I would see this guy like once a week, and I would pay him I would pay him like hundred and fifty dollars to like sit and talk about my feelings, and then it occurred to me I'm not really seeing a therapist. I'm going on a series of really 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 bad dates. <laughs> Uh, did I get the signal? Is am, am I right in seeing that? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, then I will leave you on this one. Um, I have been depressed in the past, so it really shouldn't um, surprise anybody that I used to drive a cab for a living. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I noticed in Phoenix is that uh, people, um, everybody, not just myself, uh, we tend to confuse the speed limit with the freeway that we're on. Uh, like, I'll get on the 60, and everybody will be driving a nice, sane speed. I'll get to work, it'll be great. If I want to get my Fast and Furious on, I get on the 101, and that's cool. But if I want a police escort to work, I get on the 202, and they will follow me all the way until it merges with the 10. And then I die. But I did it tonight, and that's awesome. You guys have been great. My name is Ben Mike.